In the 2024 provincial budget, there were two announcements made related to housing. The first being an anti-flipping tax and the second being an increase in the amount of property transfer tax that you're exempt from as a first time home buyer. In this video, I'm gonna go over both of those new announcements with you guys in more detail. But before I do so, if you can hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. And a reminder, if you wanna book a 30 minute call with me to talk about anything real estate, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below. Let's start with the flipping tax. So this is a tax that will affect sellers for up to two years from their original purchase. If you sell your home within the first year after you had purchased it, you will be taxed 20% on the lift or profit amount of that sale. This tax will affect sellers for up to two years. So within the first year, you're taxed 20% and then it works on a sliding scale after that. To be clear, this tax does apply to residential properties and assignments of contracts. It does not include land. Now, now, there are some exemptions to this tax, such as divorce, separation, illness, or job relocation. But generally, the overall gist is that if you do sell your home within that first year, you can expect to be taxed 20% on any profit earned. And after that, it goes on a sliding scale. After two years, you're taxed nothing. The BC Premier David said that he believes families shouldn't be competing with investors when looking for a property for themselves. So he thinks that this tax will help them get a leg up because investors that are flipping homes would generally sell that same home within two years of the ownership. This tax is definitely getting mixed reviews. Some people do believe it will help families have a better chance of getting into a home with less competition from the investor side of the market. Other people believe that it has just created a disincentive to sell because those people that want to put their home on the market or an assignment of sale on the market uh, won't be able to, or they will, but after two years to avoid any potential tax. When we look at the number of people that actually sell within two years, it's not a lot. So generally, most people people that buy a property have the intentions of staying there for three to five years at the least. CTV said that fewer than 10% of all transactions in the greater Vancouver area were sold within those first two years after purchase. This could definitely affect the number of active listings we see on the market as there will be sellers that will now want to wait for that two year period to pass before listing their property. So it could definitely prevent some listings that were expected to hit the market to now be pushed back. And overall, it doesn't really solve the housing shortage problem because we just need more supply in general. So taxing homes that are already built, I, I guess maybe it'll discourage some people from buying homes and flipping them. But honestly, for the prices of homes that we see in the Valley and greater Vancouver area, uh, not a lot of flipping happens. And that's kind of the whole point that uh, CTV was trying to make there. The BC REA Economics Department estimates that this flipping tax will decrease home sales by one to 2% over the next three years. They believe that this will have a very small impact on housing attainability for people. And essentially this tax won't solve housing prices or housing shortages shortage that we do currently see in the province. They believe the only way to prevent short-term housing speculation in the market is to make sure that housing is abundant. If you or someone you know is currently working on a renovation project on a home that they recently purchased, you'll need to sell that home by January 2025 to avoid any flipping tax. Call me. The second announcement they made affects first time home buyers, and this was a long time coming. So, the last time the government looked at the property transfer tax exemptions was in 2017. What the exemption is, is that if you buy a home that's $500,000 or less and you're a first time home buyer, you do not pay the property transfer tax. And in BC, the property transfer tax is 1% of the first $200,000 and 2% on the amount after that up to $2 million and then it gets into 3% and kind of complicated. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to talk about the exemption for first time home buyers. In any case, this amount has now been increased from $500,000 to $835,000. And then between $835,000 and $860,000, there is a partial exemption. Whereas before there was a partial exemption only between $500,000 and $525,000. So this new exemption, could save first time home buyers $8,000 and let me show you how. So as I mentioned, the old property transfer tax rules exempt you from property transfer tax totally up to $500,000. And then there was a partial exemption between $500,000 and $525,000. The new rules bring in an exemption between the $500,000 amount all the way up to $835,000. So you're only paying 2% now on any amount between $500,000 and $800,000. 
$835,000. There's also an another partial exemption between $835,000 and $860,000. So let's use an example. On a $650,000 home, which is about a two bedroom condo in my marketplace of Langley, BC, the previous property transfer tax rules would not exempt you at all because that $650,000 home is above $500,000, which was the previous exemption amount. Now on that same $650,000 home, the new property transfer calculation works like this. So you don't pay anything up to that $500,000. So the taxable amount now is $150,000 because that's the difference between $650,000 and $500,000. And you'd be paying 2% of that difference. The new property transfer tax due for a first time home buyer on a $650,000 home is $3,000. Whereas before it would have been 1% of the first $200,000, so $2,000, and then 2% 2 of the difference. So it would be 2% charged on $450,000, and the total amount due on that home would be $11,000. So that is a savings now of $8,000 for first time home buyers. So I am very excited about this new ruling. It's going to help a lot more first time home buyers get into the market because that savings amount can now be put towards their down payment, give themselves more of a cushion or perhaps allow them to buy a property sooner than they would have been because that property transfer tax amount is due at completion in a separate check. It's not worked into your mortgage. So this is definitely going to free up a lot more cash for first time home buyers, which I am happy about. The previous property transfer tax exemption amount of $500,000 would only get people into a one bedroom condo. That's in my marketplace of Langley, BC. But now with that new $835,000 threshold, that's going to be the difference between someone shopping for a condo versus a townhome, which is also really great to see. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. If you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. And a reminder, if you want to book a 30 minute call with me, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.